If you don't get back to recording, you're on trick. <laughs> People tell stories because, well, I think because, like, they're interesting and they're entertaining. And maybe sometimes they tell stories, like, to pass it on. People tell stories because they want to tell people what they've been through or what they tell people, like, stuff not to do and then the correct thing to do. People tell stories because it maybe could be about their life or something that they went through. So, so they can, so they can interest people in the stories by acting, or so maybe maybe do their own thing by their own stories, and they can, they can interest people by what, by what they're doing in the past or their future, and what's happening right now. People tell stories so that people can hear what kind of life tragedies have happen to the people who tell the stories and plus they they never know that people the people that are telling the stories too might find it interesting they never know people tell stories to let other people know about their experiences and what could possibly happen in the future people tell stories to represent feelings emotions or true things that happened like historical stories or make believe stories just for entertainment so other people can enjoy, which is, I think, a good thing. To entertain others and to tell them about something that they probably don't know. To entertain others and keep them happy. I believe that people tell stories to make sure people learn from them or just to share just memories and past times where you're happy. Yeah, story that affected me was not how, not how to be a follower, to be a leader. I like that story because it tells who I am. To be a leader, you have to be nice. You probably don't believe it, but one time, you know, my mom said that you know, the house had some spiritual stuff I ain't gonna talk about. I like that is is people can have their own own opinion about it. It could be real or fake to them. It don't really matter. It's what they think. Well, it's a story. It was like this story about a little boy, and like he was walking in the woods, and like he saw like this old man in a truck, but like he was on his way home. So like the guy in the truck picked him up, and he had this red jacket on, and uh, apparently when he got dropped off, he left his jacket in the truck, and the man asked him if he wanted it back, and he said, "I'll get it tomorrow." And apparently the old man knocked on the lady's door to ask where he was, so he she said that he passed away two years ago and apparently when he went to go visit his grave he laid his jacket on the tombstone and when he walked away his jacket was standing up like it was like somebody wearing the jacket standing up and I thought it was pretty creepy because I like kind of creepy stories okay during this camp someone told me um, that they were related to dream on dreams and I didn't believe it, but that he actually called his mom and said, and she said, yeah, so yeah. And I like that because, because I've never actually met someone that was related to a famous person. So yeah, that was interesting. One time my friend told me a story about how he was like playing basketball and it was like right by a swimming pool. It was like, I don't know why the basketball hoop was right by the swimming pool, but he went to go pass the ball in. And he fell into the swimming pool, and this guy, this random stranger that was at, there was at a hotel, and this guy at the end, like, it was just a random person that saved him from drowning because, like, he wasn't ready to swim. He just fell back into the swimming pool. And I like the story because it just shows how, like, nice strangers and people in public can be. It was a, it was a ghost book, and it uh, had interesting stories and events in the story. I liked it because um, it was very fun for me to read. I like when my mom told me about when she was little, what she does um, what she does in her life when she was my age and I liked it because it, it tells me how she became happy and 
her emotions, her actions, her feelings are kind of towards me, and that's how I really actually feel. The Merchant in Samara. That was one of my favorite stories. Um, it's a little dark. It's a pretty dark story. I mean, a quick recap on the story. It's about a merchant in, uh, in Baghdad who meets this old pale lady who is the embodiment of death. So he flees to another city called Samara. The old lady's there. He says, that's it, I give up, basically. I give up running away. And, uh, and then the, uh, the merchant asked, asked Death, why did you look so surprised to see me this morning? And Death says, because I had an appointment with you here in Samara. So every Thanksgiving, my grandma like tells the story of how she bakes her whole Thanksgiving meal on one stove top, and I like it because um, because it's saying like what she did, and it explains it. My experience experience at camp was very fun because we got got to do a lot of computer stuff and they did a lot of core fun. Yeah. I did this one uh experiment with some dish soap and some cotton and we made some cool stuff out of it. I actually have like a great experience and I like all the things that we're doing. I like camp because it gives you something to do when it's not on school because school is kind of fun. Well it's been good so far. Uh, it's been fun. Yeah, the camp's been good. Uh, I missed the first day of camp, but ever since, it's been pretty great. I really like this camp. Um, it's fun. The things that we do is f are fun, and I just have a lot of fun here. It's been fun. I've had so many laughs, and it's entertaining. Uh, I actually have like a great experience, and I like all the things that we're doing. Well, the camp is actually kind of fun. I like when we do Hamilton songs, and... We do acting of it and do choreography and play some different games up there. My experience at the camp has been really fun. Like all the games and the choreography and stuff, it's really fun. I was pretty excited to like wake up, like wake up in the morning, and get ready to like to go to the uh, camp. It was fun. I had it was, I had a great time. I enjoyed the dancing, the dance practice, and everything. It was fun. Funny, it was just great.